Expeditionary learning is a unique and beautiful model. It's about the whole child and educating the whole child. Not just creating scholars, but creating students who are scholars with a sense of civic duty. It's more challenging. You learn more by doing hands-on work, visual work. If I had stayed at traditional high school, I would have dropped out. The only reason I'm graduating is because they pushed me. Thunder sounded like boom, crash, blunk. Expeditionary learning is a design for whole school reform that is being successfully implemented in more than 150 schools in 30 states and D.C. It is a rigorous, comprehensive solution to the problems we face in education today. By test scores and many other measures, expeditionary learning schools are seeing real results. The world of inquiry school in Rochester, New York, where 78% of children are eligible for free or reduced lunch, is the city's highest performing elementary school. Do you have a special friend or teacher? Across town, the Genesee Community Charter School is setting a national standard for quality in student project work. At the Odyssey School in Denver, students from kindergarten through eighth grade outperform district averages year after year. The Codman Academy Charter High School in Boston, Massachusetts has achieved a 100% college acceptance rate year after year. The students believe in what we're doing. They've seen success. They know that the kids who've been here have gone on to college and they see the power in it. One of the best examples of expeditionary learning is King Middle School in Portland, Maine. At King, over a fourth of the students are foreign born and speak 29 languages. Yet students consistently exceed state and district averages in every subject and at every grade level, making it one of the most desired schools in the state. Anybody remember what an estuary is? It's where what meets what? Um, rivers meet the ocean. That's correct. It's where rivers meet the ocean. In this sixth grade class, students are learning to be real scientists. With a mission to study, test, and help clean up Maine's endangered Presumpscot River, water's going to be against you. The current's going to be coming at you. Expeditionary learning takes the core values of the Outdoor Wilderness Program, Outward Bound, where the focus is on learning by doing and applies them to education. There's an enterprising culture in an Outward Bound course where you're doing things you think are impossible. And when you do something that you think is impossible, it brings you into touch with values you didn't quite know you had. Students embark on expeditions, long-term investigations of important questions and subjects that mirror real-world challenges. Expeditionary learning challenges students to learn more and challenges students to develop interests and to pursue those interests. If a student discovers something, they never forget it. If they memorize it, they will forget it. In this expedition, King students study the Presumpscot's history and natural habitat. So everybody's got a test? And work with teachers and outside experts to test and record the river's water quality. All three parameters, pH, temperature, E. coli, each and every one of you do only at your site. We're learning how to help the uh, fish and the environment on the Scott. The Riverworks Project is a really fine example of engaging kids in interdisciplinary work in a way that connects what science and reading and writing really mean in the world. They're learning the same science as other kids in other middle schools are, but with an entirely different sense of purpose and a different rigor. Yale schools are very rigorous academically, and the idea is to put together really important and difficult work with great joy in doing it, with engagement. It doesn't require rivers. It only requires a sense of going after things and uh, discovering them. A world away, in the urban neighborhood of Thornton, Colorado, the Mapleton Expeditionary School of the Arts, Mesa, uses an art-centered curriculum 
to engage its students. Mesa opened its doors in 2005 with a grant to expeditionary learning by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation with the goal of preparing students for college in underserved communities. They put a lot of focus onto college and what we're supposed to do to get to it and achieve it and it just changed everything. I, I've never been so prepared before. Pull out your writing reflection, I just scanned the back. Angel has always been a very focused and very committed student, but in most schools in America, the tasks that he's given to do are really low-level tasks. Exhibitionary learning allows us to build the kind of lessons that really are going to engage kids regardless of what they walk in the door with. All right, we've got a full class, and we're going to take it to the end of the trimester studying World War II in a few different ways. Hitler Youth being one of those. Expeditions are closely based on state standards and teach the skills students need to master. Homework isn't that difficult and you will be well prepped for field work. But learning goes far beyond the textbook. Field work is a significant component that engages students. We learn from the world around us in a really authentic uh, ways. Do you see something in here that could be trauma? Yeah. Doesn't it look like they're operating? I didn't think that I would like Mesa, but as my sophomore year progressed, I realized that it could open my mind to something that I wanted to do. Every year there was a time where she said, you know what, I want to give up, I want to cash it in, I don't want to graduate high school, it's too hard for me, it's not worth it. Having my teachers motivate me was an extra push for me to want to do better. Welcome ninth graders, thank you for joining our community meeting. We want to just remind In an expeditionary you learning school, Students and teachers form strong relationships through weekly community meetings and daily crew meetings. All right, so who's having a rough time with their math reflections? It's a lot of people, so we have a problem, right? We need to get those things done. In ninth grade, I didn't really care. I was like, well, how is this ever going to affect me? And when I started here at Mesa, I saw I noticed that the teachers cared about you enough. They showed it. What are some of the things that you've done to persevere? And they wanted you know you to be something. They told me pretty much that everything is possible if I just try hard enough. Yako is a great example of someone who came to us with a heap of challenges. What Mesa gave Yako was a really tight set of relationships with kids and adults who were going to hold him accountable. It set some boundaries for him to know that what he did mattered. Our goal for today is to check in on this strategic plan and do some assessment. Expeditionary learning begins with engaging and effective professional development. We firmly believe in expeditionary learning that good schools are good because of good teaching. And good teaching happens only when teachers are engaged over a long period of time in strong professional development which can change and improve their practice. Start with your long-term targets. Give us kind of an overview. School designers work closely with teachers and administrators to start a new school or transform an existing school from top to bottom. Monday you got the agenda and really part of that agenda was spending some reflection time. Coaching of teachers, coaching of principals, working directly with leadership teams in order to design and implement structures. There is a culture of continuous improvement in that the EL school designer and the field director for EL are there to support the school and to measure improvement as we go through the year. Teachers also receive extensive off-site training. They experience expeditions like this one on gold mining. From in-class work to field work at the Colorado Mining Museum, and a visit to a working mine in the Rocky Mountains, teachers are challenged to think and create just as their students are. And that came right out of the standards. That's such a great experience for them to take back and think, this is what we can do with our students in our classrooms as well. Originally, all our professional development was around project design and around expedition design. We then began offering institutes in literacy, institutes in reading and writing and math, institutes in assessment, 